Hi, uh, welcome back. It's been a little bit of a time recently, things going crazy, but thought I would do a quick video to show you some latest records which uh, you may find as fulfilling as I do, but I, I'm very, very happy, very, very happy to have these and I'm very happy to, to be sharing them with you today. So let's kick off. Jazz, McCoy Tyner, uh, the real McCoy. I've been waiting a while for this. It's been out of stock in the UK for a little while and prices have gone up through the roof, but they've just li literally come back into stock. And I really recommend this. I do love McCoy Tyner. He's, he's obviously the pianist. Uh, Ron Carter on bass, Elvin Jones on drums, Joe Henderson on tenor sax. Very lovely, great pressing. I think it's optimal. That's where it was pressed in Germany. And this is lovely. Recommend this. This is one of those classic series jazz records, which is a, is worth getting. Really nice. I do have a bit of a cold. I'm sorry, I feel a bit. So I'm just struggling a little bit today. Uh, not jazz now, something a bit different. And that's The Scientist. This is the debut album from the 1980s um, artist known as The Scientist. And the hype sticker says, featuring hypnotic bass lines, reverb drenched keyboards and fluid start-stop rhythms. This is fantastic. Well worth having a listen. F chilled out, late night grooves. It's... Uh, if you like a bit of dubstep, reggae, laid back summer tunes, recommend you get a copy of this. Love it. Really nice. I also managed to get uh, the Smiths. Queen is dead. Uh, I don't have any Smiths records. I've got some CDs that I've been listening to for a while. Uh, but I have to say, this is a lovely, lovely pressing. Obviously, I think it's digitally sourced, but it's a lovely gatefold. And uh, I just love the Smiths, really good. Really recommend it. Got some great tracks on here, which I, I love. I've loved over the years, and I really enjoy listening to this. So, back on the jazz front. John Coltrane, Giant Steps. Now, this is the anniversary edition. This is uh, probably sourced from digital files, but it's on the Atlantic label and it's uh, double LP. Got some of the outtakes from some of the tracks, but it's a, it's a nice copy, you know, it's great music. It's not as dynamic as an audio file record, but it's just lovely. If you're into jazz and you've just discovered Coltrane, so you like a bit of Love Supreme or ballads, I'd have a listen to this. Really good, really lovely. Going back to the 90s, I managed to get a copy of The Cranberries. Everybody else is doing it, so why can't we? And this is the Analog Spark pressing. This is fantastic. This is the one that you want if you like really good quality, fantastic vinyl records. Really good rock. I want to say pop. I think it's rock. It's a rock album. But it's a lovely gatefold. Don't get the anniversary edition. I picked that up by mistake. And it's, it was filthy dirty and lots of infill and sounded flat as a pancake. This is the one to get, the Analog Spark, which has been recorded from the uh, original tapes, I believe. Fantastic. That's my, that's the, the best record of the month for me. Going back to jazz, managed to pick a copy of Carumba, Lee Morgan. Not one of Lee's best jazz albums, in my opinion, but it's a close, it's pretty good. It's a close second or third. 
and it's clean it's been you know it's, it's a lovely lovely listen lots of toe tapping stuff very easy to listen to and uh, if you're into your jazz picking up Lee Morgan um, projects this is one to listen to just picked this up yesterday Milt Jackson with John Lewis, Percy Heath, Kenny Clark and Lou Donaldson. Love Lou Donaldson and I love John Lewis. This is a really good, lovely swing, feel good jazz record. There's lots of lovely, lovely earworms in this. It's worth having a listen to it. Um, Kevin Gray mastered it over at Coherent and I think this was pressed to optimal. And good quality. It's an audio file record through and through. Sounds good, good separation, very punchy. And I just love the xylophone. Um, it's uh, fantastic, definitely worth a listen to. So uh, that's Milk Jackson. What came out at the same time is Bud Powell's Time Waits, The Amazing Bud Powell. Again, really nice listening to. It's got some. It's a really good record, really good jazz record. It's the the the, the separation of instrumentations, fantastic. I've got a feeling this might be a mono. It's got Sam Jones on the bass and Philly Joe John, Philly Joe Jones on the drums. Cheap as chips, really, for for what you're getting. I think it was 19 quid or 20 quid in the UK. Really lovely. Definitely worth recommending listening to this with the Milt Jackson in tow. Um, and then last week I picked up, finally, Out to Lunch, Eric Dolphy. Now, in a previous video, I talked about discovering Ornette Coleman and I picked up Eric Dolphy because I it I do like being challenged when I'm listening to a bit of jazz music. Some not all the time, sometimes. Uh, and this has got Freddie Hubbard uh, on the trumpet, uh, Bobby Hutchison on the vibes, uh, Richard Davis on bass, Anthony Williams on drums. Another great classic. I have to say, I'm very mixed on the classics. I don't know how you're finding the Blue Note classics, but some of them are just really, really bad. Bad in fill, very poor quality. And then some of them are absolutely fantastic. This is a really good one. It is challenging. My wife hates it. But it is a lovely album. Very highly acclaimed. And uh, I like listening to it in the evenings. It's really nice. Before I drop it on the floor. Uh, lastly, but not least, Eastern Rebellion. This was supposed to come out back in January and it's been delayed, but it's just come out now. And this is a music on vinyl release, limited to a thousand, I believe, uh, on silver vinyl. Very easy listening, very great sounding. It's got a lot of really lovely, accessible tunes. Uh, it's a very underrated album, in my opinion. It, it's very punchy, very dynamic. But why, why, why did music on vinyl press it on silver vinyl? Because it's got that, it has got a lot of noise. And I blame the silver vinyl variant completely. Music on vinyl, I found very, very good recently. Um, the Mingus Ahum on black vinyl is beautiful. It really is, and we've I've got um, iRobot, also by Music on Vinyl, on black, and it's fantastic. Why they've used silver vinyl, I don't know, but if you can get hold of this, give it a listen if you're starting to get into jazz, because it's a lovely, it's a really lovely record. <laughs> it's just no nothing more to say. It's got a lovely um, patterned, weaved, woven. Um, cover and some pictures of the musicians on the back dead cheap this is 772 
of a thousand so um, but you can pick this up it's not something that's going to go out of stock straight away but i really recommend if you can get listening to this have a listen and that is that i hope to speak to you all guys soon please give me a like and if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and i'll do some more new record videos in the future take care bye